Hello everybody, welcome back to Open Eikawa. My name is Moses and in today's video you are going to watch a husband and wife negotiate with a businesswoman. They are trying to get $125,000 in exchange for 5% of their company. In other words, they're selling 5% of their company for $125,000. While watching the video, you will learn seven phrases that native English speakers use in business negotiations. With that, let's get down to business. Yeah. What we can bring to the table is worth it. What I can think. you bring to the table? Now this phrase basically means experience and or qualifications and skills. What can you bring to the company? And if you're in a negotiation, what can you offer besides money? What we can bring to the table is worth it. I think that we can help you to skyrocket. Number two, skyrocket. This is a simple one. It means to increase drastically. So if we're talking about sales, the sales increased very, 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 very quickly in a short period of time. I think that we can help you to skyrocket. We, we work really hard. You really wouldn't have to a lot of heavy lifting. We have investors. Number three, heavy lifting. And this is exactly what it implies. Heavy lifting means hard work. We, we work really hard. You really wouldn't have to a lot of heavy lifting. We have Lifting. We have investors on board who are also really strategic. We've been number four on board, and this means to agree with someone or to support someone with something. We have investors on board who are also really strategic. We've been we will put in. I know you're going to do the heavy lifting but I know that I will also be opening so many doors for you. If I can get you into Starbucks nationwide, that's 9,000 locations. And Number then... five, open doors. When something opens doors for you, they're giving you an opportunity or a chance to do something. Put in, I know you're gonna do the heavy lifting, but I know that I will also be opening so so many doors for you. If I can get you into Starbucks nationwide, that's 9,000 locations. I will not go to 10%. Um, my bottom line, my bottom line would be 15. Number six, bottom line. This is the lowest price someone will go in a negotiation. I will not go to 10%. Um, my bottom line, my bottom line would be 15. You, when you only have one offer, yes. you're skating on really thin yes. ice. Yes. And now you have to make a decision. Number seven, skating on thin ice. Have you ever skated on thin ice before? I hope not. It sure is dangerous. You can fall through and die. Well, that's the exact same meaning this expression has. It means to do something that is dangerous. And this can be used in business conversations. You, when you only have one offer, yes. you're skating on really thin yes. ice. Yes. And now yeah. you have to make a decision. So guys, did you like this video? 
If you did, check out this video right here where you will watch a child entrepreneur give a business presentation and you will learn some more new English vocabulary words.